So this week we're talking about energy gels and trying to understand why you use them and, and when do they come into play for your training. So first of all, I think it's important to understand how our body gets energy to fuel itself for long distance runs. There's two main sources that we draw from that will fuel us and that is by burning fat in our bodies and the second way is by burning carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are stored in our muscles as glycogen. We don't have an unlimited supply of that. So as you race in a marathon, run long distances, go for a you know, two, three hour run, for example, we will start to utilize all that glycogen. We'll eventually run out, which is why using energy gels helps to replenish those carbohydrates that our body is losing. Now you'll never fully replenish what you're gonna lose in carbohydrates, but they're designed to help buffer what you are losing and hopefully give you enough energy to finish the race, finish the run that you're doing. And so it's important to know that. Most gels will be about 100 to 150 calories and somewhere in the ballpark of 20 to 30 grams of carbs, depending on the brand. So you're gonna have to take more than one if you're running for a long period of time. Most of the gels will recommend anywhere from 45 to 60 minute intervals that you take one. So if you're in a race, for example, you can take one right before the gun goes off and then every 45 to 60 minutes thereafter just to make sure that you're always getting that energy. You certainly don't want to wait until you feel like you need some energy to take one because it takes a bit of time for those to digest and really get into your system. A couple things to keep in mind as well is when you're training, now is the time to start practicing with energy gels. Don't wait until race day to start thinking about that reason why is there's a ton of different flavors and a lot of different brands. Some have caffeine, fruit flavor, chocolate flavor. They've made all sorts of kinds that interest different people. I picked this up the other day and this is a maple bacon flavor. I thought it was going to be awesome. It's absolutely horrendous. I can't use this, I, but I just hang on to it because I think it was kind of funny. Typical Canadian uh, flavor. I use a chocolate flavor by Cliff Shot, which works for me, but everybody's different. So the point I'm making is you have to practice and see what's going to work for you. One last tip is to, if you are training for a specific marathon or a specific race that will be giving out energy gels, find out what brand that course is going to be giving out. Maybe use that as what you're training with so your stomach gets used to that. You can certainly carry your own gels in a race, but it's not a bad idea to, to practice what, with what the race is giving out. So if you have any questions about energy gels and why, or maybe there's a few things you're not sure of, you know, give us a comment below. We'll, we'll do our best to answer everything that you guys submit. Let us know which kind you use. We'd be interested to see what works for different people. We know that everybody has different preferences and stomachs different things. So let us know. We'd love it if you'd comment. We'd also appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe and, and track with us. We're going to try and give you a video every week on some simple tips for running. And we'd love to track with you. So thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you again next week.